Well, good morning, gang. Here we are again um, in the King's Polo Club here in Egypt outside Cairo. And I'm sitting in the courtyard here, which is a little bit of a work in progress at the moment. You can see the polo field in the gap behind me here. And as I turn, you can see the window on the stables. I'm sitting in the wash bay. You can see this boom overhead that will be the wash line in this particular bay. There are four of them that do six horses at a time. There's the next block of stables and then there are two more um, over behind that. So a great place to be and a great place to work and uh, having a good time here. But uh, I just thought a change of setting might actually be quite nice to just chat to you about a subject that uh, is, is quite important in my life as a coach. And that is, have you asked yourself what is holding you back in your polo? Because if you're honest with yourself and you ask yourself that question, um, it really helps you to progress and you need to be brutally honest with yourself, okay? Um, is it that basically you've stopped getting any coaching and your swing is not great and uh, you know, you, you haven't really gone back to the basics? Because I look at uh, myself with my coaching and I went and got golf coaching for a long time. Not because I particularly wanted to be a good golfer, but just because I, I think that there's so much money spent in golf and the two swings, the golf swing and the polo swing are so similar that um, it helped me with my polo coaching and that was what I was after. But what was interesting to me was that the coach I went to spent a long time just getting the um, basics right. He got my stance right, my swing plane right and only let me use the easiest club in the bag which is a wedge, a very short little club until I'd got proficient at doing what he asked me to do. And I see so many club golfers, for example, blazing away with their drivers and all the difficult clubs in their bag and not paying attention to basics and they never get good at golf. But it's the same at polo, guys. If you don't go and iron out those gremlins in your swing, you're never going to achieve at this sport and you're never going to get as good as you can get. So is that uh, an inhibiting factor? Is possibly your fitness an inhibiting factor because if you this is a very physical game okay and if you are unfit then um, maybe that is stopping you playing and, and progressing how you would like to progress and uh, I go back to a story of my son who is a gym freak and so fit and he used to play polo in the past and uh, I took him and gave him four chuckers and uh, at the end of the day we went to bed and the next morning he looked at me and said pop i can't get out of bed he was so stiff that he actually couldn't move so there's only one way to get really riding fit and that's to ride so do as much of that as you can and get yourself in as good a shape as you can okay but be honest about what's actually inhibiting you going forwards because it might be a mental thing too you know if you are kind of saying to yourself oh well I wasn't really trying and that's why I didn't play well that's an excuse for me and it rings warning bells because if you admit that you were trying and then did badly you've got no excuses but if you say to yourself oh, I wasn't really trying you know um, there's an excuse in your head and it stops you being honest with yourself and progressing how you would like to progress in this sport okay so just be brutally honest with yourself um, as to what actually is inhibiting you going forwards and pay attention to the basics just go back get riding lessons get your riding good because often the riding is one of the things that really inhibits you and stops you progressing okay um, and go back and get a sheepskin out and ride without stirrups without a saddle get your legs strong because that gives you good hands and so often just uh, it, it's the riding that's inhibiting you because if you can't ride well you can't make the basic swing correctly because you cannot do it sitting on your butt um, you get glued to the saddle your your torso won't move in the way it should move so uh, just a, a little prick in the butt here from me to say be honest with yourself and uh, really assess yourself and uh, go and get help in the areas that you are really struggling with if it's um, you know actually polar related stuff and you can get basic training with that and if it's not work on your mental side as well because that's as important 
So hope that helps and see you in the next lesson.